Let's talk about concerns over possible school boundary changes now. It, they have infuriated some parents in Fairfax County. The new One Fairfax Social and Racial Equity Policy has some residents fearing a return to forced busing. Northern Virginia Bureau Chief Peggy Fox takes a look at those concerns. Busing students long distances in order to bring more racial and socioeconomic diversity is something school board member Elizabeth Schultz says she's trying to stop. When one of the main features of the policy talks about social, economic, or race constitution of a school, the characteristics of children, and, and rebalancing that, you're talking about busing students. They say, no, this is not about busing, it's about transportation. The issue, reworking a new boundary policy, was discussed at a school board work session this week. This is just at the policy level. We are not in this conversation talking about any particular boundary changes. We are certainly not taking on a project of, you know, 70s style desegregation through busing. School board member Pat Hines says all they're doing is updating the boundary policy. We don't ever want to make a decision that um, that makes equity and diversity worse off in the school system. So in other words, we don't want to change a boundary um, that would make socioeconomic imbalance worse. So that's why we look through that equity lens in all of our decisions, including boundaries. The review came about because of serious overcrowding issues at several schools. Dozens of trailers surround Chantilly, Centerville and McLean High Schools. Those schools are all overcrowded at about 120 percent of capacity. We're not talking about some kids being uncomfortable or inconvenienced. We are now talking about kids who cannot get in the building or cannot get out of the building if there is an emergency. McLean parent Vance Gore says developing a new policy and then a system wide boundary review is going to take too long to fix the problem of overcrowded schools. We need to solve those problems now and we've kicked the can down the road by stopping the expedited boundary studies and not focusing on that and instead the board continues to off road into social engineering, all other places and this is not what families want. Before the school board adopts this new boundary policy, they want community community input and they're planning to hire a consultant to facilitate community engagement. In Reston, Peggy Fox, WUSA 9.